Hey everyone, Matt here from Docs Running, and today we're going to do a sub two of the Asics GT 1011. So this is an entry level stability shoe from Asics that has evolved quite a bit over the years. I reviewed it a long time ago and I had a very clunky heel, but still semi decent ride. And that it's continued on to be a semi decent ride and improved a little bit more. It comes in at 100 bucks in most places. I got my pair for like 50 bucks on Amazon. So if you're looking for a stability shoe that's affordable and you jo you're trying to get into running or like you know finance aren't the greatest this is going to be a really good option for a couple reasons let's talk about why so first specs wise eight millimeter drop it's coming in at 9.5 ounces for men's size 9. My size 10 only weighs 9.7 ounces, so definitely on the lighter side for a training shoe. And this is a daily training shoe, nothing super fast. Fortunately, underfoot, it does feel slightly soft, but a little bit more snappy in the forefoot. So I've been able to do some like strides and stuff in this and some like interval stuff. It's been totally fine. It does feel get better getting up a little bit more forward because yes, this is getting, Asics is getting better with their heel. It's still just a little bit clunky back here until it breaks in or if you land a little bit far forward because there's not a huge heel bevel, but everything forward feels great. There is the traditional uh, light truss here that they use. So it's really a post on the medial side. I didn't actually notice it the first couple steps but as I got into the run. Yeah, it's there. I put this as a light stability shoe and they've done some other elements really well. Full ground contact outsole, so it's it's much more inherently stable. There are some sidewalls here, so you've got a couple different methods now, which is really good, and especially good for a shoe you can find for like 50 bucks. Fit-wise, you might want to consider a half size up. It's a little bit narrow with normal socks, the upper broke in, but initially is about a half size small for me. So if you're really sensitive to that, you might want to go up a half size, which I also found with the GT2000, the older version. But it's overall a pretty solid option for less than 100 bucks. So if you need stability, this might be one to consider.